Hello and welcome to Shangri-La Botanical Gardens here in Southeast Texas. Uh, we are going to have a brand new show for you today. It's the Local Legends Game Show. My name is Bo Tanical, and this is our lovely hostess, Miss Betty Fly. Tell us about yourself, Betty. Well, hello, and again, my name is Betty Fly, and I live in the Children's Garden here at Shangri-La Gardens, and you'll find me sipping nectar from flowers and spreading pollen as I go. Oh, my, you have an important job here at Shangri-La. Yes, pollinating the flowers. Oh, that's my job. That's wonderful. Well, let's get right on uh, with our show. And first, we're going to meet our esteemed panel. Our first is straight from the uh, Shangri-La Frog Ponds, Miss Lily Pad. Well, hi there. I'm Lily Pad. I grow here on the ponds at Shangri-La. I grow these big old pretty leaves and they animals like to come and hop on top and they sit there and they just lay in the sun and soak it up. I also grow these beautiful lilies. They smell so good. Next, we have from the thick forest of Cypress Knee here at Shangri-La Botanical Gardens, Miss Norma Dillo. Hi, I'm Norma Dillo. Shangri-La's only armored mammal that you'll find out here. I'm a nine-banded armadillo. I'm also nocturnal, meaning I love to come out at night. I brought some home video footage to share with you. That's me and my babies searching for delicious insects and grubs to munch on. And finally, flying in from Adam's Bayou is Miss J Bird. Good afternoon. I am a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bluebird. My name is Jaybird. I just love living here at Shangri-La because there's so many seeds and nuts to eat. You know, some birds call me aggressive, but I think they're just jealous because of my beautiful blue feathers. The object of our game today is to guess who the local legends are on the other side of this curtain. Our panel will ask many questions to try to figure this out. We have the answers will be recorded here on our game board. And at the end of our show, the panel will get together. And as a group, they, they're going to try to guess who the local legends are. So I think we're ready to begin. All right, Miss Lily Pad, would you ask the first question? I am dying to know if the the local legends are a vertebrate or an invertebrate and that's really just a fancy way of asking do you have a backbone how about it local legend number one i do have a backbone i'm definitely a vertebrate local legend number two do you have a backbone yes i'm a vertebrate Okay, and local legend number three. How about you? Do you have a backbone? No, I don't have a backbone. Whoa, the plot thickens. Local legend number four. How about you? We have a backbone? Yes, I'm a vertebrate. Alrighty, getting interesting here. Local legend number five. Do you have a backbone? I have no bones at all. All righty, Miss Norma Dillo, are you ready for your question? I sure am ready, Bo. My question is this. I want to know if our local legend has fur. You know, it might be confusing because of my hard armored plates, but because I'm a mammal, I have fur, so I need to know if our local legends also have fur. I'm glad I don't have an old stinky, snicky, wet fur. It gets nasty. I have lots of fur. Why, yes I do, and it's vital to my survival. No, I have overlapping armored scales. No fur. 
Okay, now on to question number three. I have beautiful blue wings. Do you have wings? I don't have wings, but I sure like to eat things that do have wings. They're yummy. No wings, just strong back legs. Oh, of course I do. I have four wings. No, I'm too heavy to fly. No wings either. Miss Lily Pad, we're on to question number four. What do you think? Well, I really, really hate to ask this, but I think a good question to ask the contestants would be, do you eat plants? When I was just a little tad of a fella, I nibbled on algae and stuff because I didn't have a big mouth. But you know what? I got a great, big, wonderful mouth now, and I'm a carnivore. I like meat, meat, meat. Yes, I'm an herbivore. No, I don't eat plants, but I do store the nectar from the plants. No, I have strong jaws and eat animals. Oh, yes, they are so delicious. All right, now we're on question number five. Miss Norma Dillo, what do you think? I'm sure you've noticed I have a long, pointy mouth used to dig for insects. And I also have lots of teeth. It's important to me to know if the local legend has teeth in their mouth. Most people don't even know that I have teeth because I'm not like those humans with a whole mouthful of those shiny choppers. I just got some little tiny peg-like things in the roof of my mouth. I have many teeth. No, but I do like to slurp things up. I cannot bite you. Yes, I have teeth. I can go through 3,000 of them in a lifetime. Why, yes, I have hundreds of them on my tongue. All right, now we're on to question number six. Miss J. Bird, what do you think? What do you say? Well, I think it's so important for us to be able to take in the beauty of the world and think of all the things that we can smell. Now it goes to, my question has to do with how do you breathe? Do you have gills? Now that's a trick question. I was, uh, uh, when I was little, I had gills, but they went away and now I've got two wonderful lungs. Even though I do swim occasionally, I have lungs, no gills. No, no gills here. No. I have lungs. No gills. All right, question number seven, Miss Lily Pad. Well, see, I'm just trying to figure out if I've met y'all before. And so, riddle me this. Do any of y'all have shells? No shell, but I have a beautiful skin all over my hide. No shell, just beautiful, thick fur. Why, no, I don't have a shell. No, I do not have a shell. <gasps> yes, I have a beautiful shell. Okay, Miss Normadillo, question number eight. Here we go. My question for the local legends has to do with skins. Are you an amphibian? Why, yes, I am an amphibian. No, I am a mammal. Nope, I'm a cold-blooded invertebrate. No. No amphibian. Okay, now, question number nine. Miss J, J. Bird. Well, you know, we birds have a lot of beautiful songs we make. We just sing all the time. But you know what, I wonder, can you all make a sound? 
I make wonderful sounds. And sometimes my buddies and I, we all get together in the pond and we have a whole chorus of us singing, but I have the best voice. We are generally very quiet animals. You may hear us darting through the vegetation. Yes, I make sound. I can flap my wings 200 times per second, making a buzzing sound. Yes, we hiss when we get bigger. Very scary. Hmm. I don't think so. Okay, now that's the end of our yes, no questions. We're digging a little deeper. We're going to ask one more question. How about it, Miss Lilypad? Y'all, it is finally time for the very last question. So the last question I have for the contestants is, how many legs do you have, if you have legs at all? I have four strong legs, but you know my hind legs are really muscular. They are super strong. I have four. Two in the front called forelegs, and two in the back are called hind legs. I have three pairs of segmented legs, so I would say I have six legs. I have four short, strong legs. I have no legs, just a foot. And now it's time for our panel to discuss all of the answers to our questions and find out who our, uh, pa our local legends are. So let's give them a few minutes and we'll come right back. Well, we think that contestant number one is a frog. Okay, well come on out local legend number one. Well, look at here, we have a frog. How about that? Tell us something about yourself. Well, I'm a bullfrog. I'm the oh, king of the pond, you know. I and I have delicate skin. I can even breathe through my skin. Did you know that? No, no. Well, I'm glad to teach you something, Bo. You know what? I'm rested up because I've been at the bottom of Ruby Lake for about two or three months. I hibernate and just stay in the mud. That is so interesting. You know, like sometimes they people have the wrong impression of some of our animals out here at Shangri-La. Could you tell us, maybe kind of clear up a myth or a legend that you have, about, that people have about you? I surely would like okay. to address that. You know what some of those kids are always saying? What? That if I wet on them, I give them warts? Well, that's just a big old fat fib. That is not true. It is a lie, lie, lie. I sometimes do get a little scared and wet, but you know what? Just because I got a little bump on my skin doesn't mean I'm going to give these people warts. As a matter of, ooh, there's Miss Lily Pat. I think I'm going to go visit her, Bo. So long. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you for joining us. We think local legend number two is a swamp rabbit. Well, come on out, local legend number two. Show yourself. Oh, look at here. We have a beautiful swamp rabbit. Tell us a little about yourself. Well, I live here in Shangri-La at this bota beautiful botanical gardens in the wetlands. I am one of the largest of the cottontail species. I eat lots of grass and herbs that live in moist soil. I also eat lots of aquatic plants and stems of canes. That is so interesting. Well, I tell you what, I think that we need to learn a little bit more about you because like a lot of times they have uh, uh, myths or legends about our animals out here. Could you clear up anything for us that maybe people are a little bit uh, confused about or maybe you didn't even know about yourself? Sure, I'm actually a great swimmer. I hop on land, then I can jump into the swamp to what? stay away from predators. Well, I'll be, that's awesome. We got a swimmer here, people. All right, this is awesome. So glad that you could be here with us today. Very good, okay. We think that legend number three would be a honeybee. Ah. <laughs> well, look here, we have a bumblebee. How wonderful, a honeybee or a I bumblebee? am a honeybee. Oh, a honeybee, And okay. I live in Shangri-La. Oh, how wonderful. Yes. Tell us and about yourself. Something so interesting about my home is we have a structure with over 20,000 bees living together, and we are so tidy. Our home is made of hexagonal cells, and we love to live together, and we're, oh, we're so, so clean and tidy. Yes. 
Oh, that's so interesting too. Okay, well, let me ask you this. We have myths and legends about many animals and stuff uh, out here at Shangri-La, and I was wondering if there was anything about you that you could possibly clear up. Do you know that sometimes I fly one to two miles just to forage for food? One to two miles, and look how little I am. That's hard work. And the other thing is, is males do not sting you. Only the females have stingers. Oh, okay. Well, that is super interesting. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, yes. I'm gonna go find some more food. Oh, yay. <laughs> We think that contestant number four is an alligator. Oh, okay. We have an alligator here. I'm like, I say that I'm a little nervous. We have our alligator here. Tell us about yourself. Yes, I am an alligator, and I love living at Shangri-La Gardens in Ruby Lake. It's so wonderful here. Do you know that we can grow up to 12 or 13 feet long and weigh up to 300 pounds. My goodness, that's, that's a big alligator then. All right, well, are there any myths or legends that you would like to clear up? Yes, people say that we can't see well or we can't run fast or climb. And I'm here to tell you that I see perfectly we run at least 11 miles an hour and we can climb fences climb? so look out wow you can climb a fence okay that is information i didn't know about for sure well thank you so much for coming on our uh, local legends game show you're welcome oh very good very good For local legend number five, we weren't quite sure. Sounds like maybe it's out of this world, like an alien or something. I mean, who has a mouth on the end of its foot? Uh, alien? I don't know about that. But number five, come on out. All right, number five, come on out. I'm coming, be patient. Oh my goodness, okay. So we have local legend number five slowly coming out. And it's a, a snail. I'm a snail. A snail. And look at that, has a, has a shell on its back. How wonderful. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Snail. First of all, I'm so happy to be here. I have two tentacles. And on top of my tentacles are my eyes. This is how I see things. How interesting. I have a beautiful shell as well. And I go inside my shell. It's my home. It's your home. Oh, okay. And uh, how about a myth or a legend about you? Do you have a myth or a legend that you would like to clear up? I would love to clear this up. <laughs> People think because I'm so slow that I'm lazy. I am not lazy. No, no. I clean up gardens all the time. Okay, so you you help our gardens, and we need snails. How about that? Yes, you do, and I love living here. Well, that is so important that you are here. We're so glad that you came on our Local Legends Game Show. Thank you for joining us on our first edition of the Local Legends Game Show. We'll see you next time. I'm Bo Tentacles. See you next time.